Okay, so just a quick video to see if Fortnite works uh, on Apple TV via AirPlay. Uh, so I've launched Fortnite, uh, screen mirroring. Okay, so here it is showing on the TV. You can see it on my phone at the same time as well. Uh, go back from there. Solo mode. This is really just to show uh, if it's worth getting an Apple TV for air playing Fortnite. Um, now, unfortunately at the moment they still haven't got uh, MFI controller support, which will be great when that comes, um, because then you can play it on your phone or your, or your iPad uh, with a controller, and this mimics all the buttons of an Xbox controller. Uh, this is a, a what is it, Steel Series Nimbus, uh, which is a great controller. Um, but also the um, Apple TV 4 has got an A8 processor which uh, Fortnite runs on the iPad Mini 4 so there's no reason they couldn't bring it to Apple TV 4 which would be great for Apple TV. Uh, Apple really wants to get onto that. Right, so if I run around and look around you get this weird, I don't know if it's picking it up on the camera but you get this weird glitch every now and then. Yeah, you can see it's like it's skipping, and that I guess is. I mean, I'm on an iPhone 7, um, and so there's a possibility that with screen mirroring and running Fortnite, it's just too much for the device. Uh, we'll let it get in game because we're in the lobby at the moment, but uh, we'll see how that goes. But you can see it running on both devices. There's not much of a delay. I mean, if I look, I'm looking at just the TV now and running around but you are getting that weird skip every now and then. It's a bit jumpy. Again, this is because it's mirroring through Apple TV. This is I've actually played the game uh, on my phone and it plays absolutely fine. So what I do is I'll jump out and land somewhere and then I'll switch back to just the TV. So I'll let you see just the TV for a while. Uh, right, we can jump out. The graphics actually look look pretty decent. Um, I mean, it, from a view distance point of view, you really can see pretty far. Let's go to one of my favourite places to land. No, actually, let's go here because it would just be quiet here. I would think. I don't think many people land here. So I'm just I'm not looking at my phone at all. Yeah, and it and it's. It's pretty skippy. Oh, and something weird happened then. Yeah, it's too skippy. Okay, so as you could see, uh, it's not worth AirPlay mirroring Fortnite from a, a phone. Uh, I mean, someone could try an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 10, which is more powerful than my iPhone 7, but uh, I'm thinking probably it's going to have that skippiness to it. Um, it's obviously Fortnite's using so much resources from the phone that it can't do anything else at the same time, um, but it actually plays incredibly smoothly. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed at how good it is. Um, on my iPhone 7, it, it runs really well. Uh, I just hope they'll add controller support, or even better, if they make an Apple TV app with controller support, that would be great. Uh, anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe.